Hello! Slightly unorthodox setup. I had an operation on Friday on my toe. Uh, long story short, anyway. Um, so I'm currently convalescing in our um, middle lounge and um, with my leg up with all my stuff around me. <laughs> and I can't get my normal camera to work. So, hello. Right, okay, I've got a great one for you today. Um, so, there's some tricks that a lot of AI artists don't know at all. And these are some of the tricks that some of the top artists, AI artists, are using today to get awesome results. Okay? Um, and it, you wouldn't naturally think of it. But magazines and periodicals, anywhere really that's online. Um, you can use them in your prompts um, the same way you use artists. Yeah? And what it does is it refers, when you generate the image, it refers to that data within the model to help generate an image. Okay, So I've done a few different um, magazines for you. I'm going to start off with Nature. Okay, um, National Geographic, I'm sure you're all familiar with National Geographic magazine. Um, obviously, if you want um, great nature shots or like scenery, um, it's a good good one to pull from. Look at those elephants, awesome. Um, BBC Wildlife Magazine, another great one. They do some uh, great photography work, obviously. <laughs> Look at that. I haven't even told it to give me anything. Um, Geo Magazine. Now, some of these do and don't work to some extent. I'm not 100% convinced that works. Um, nature Friend Magazine. No. Nah. So it works. Um, obviously, where it doesn't recognise the magazine, it's pulling the words and uh, trying to trying to make some sense of the words. Discover magazine, which I really thought would work, kind of doesn't work. Uh, Nature Conservancy magazine that does. You'd have to do some serious no words, no letters, and all that. But yeah, that's pulled some great images up. <clears throat> Bay Nature magazine, that's beautiful. I think this is. Um, Australia or something. Is that a kookaburra? I don't know my birds. Um, Scientific American magazine. Look at that. It's almost brought up the magazine covers. Um, so again, you'd have to tell it not to bring up the covers. Smithsonian can refer to. Um, Owen Nature magazine. It's kind of an interesting one. Terrain magazine. Again, not convinced it's done that one. Cosmos magazine. Again, not convinced it's done that one. Natural history magazine. Pretty sure, yeah, that's reading the magazine, I would say so. Orion magazine, it's not done. Uh, no, because I'm forgetful. It'll have done Natural History magazine again. British Ecological Society magazine, that's a good one, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, so those are nature magazines. I'm sure there's more magazines. Um, go and have a look, see if you can find any. Um, fashion. Fashion magazines are great for... Um, just clearing up your, your portraits and getting getting better better looking portraits, you know, clearing up some of those features. Um, because if you think about the 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 arts um, paintings that it's referring to, a lot of paintings they're they're quite often um, not great portraits, you know. If you think of like Picasso, um, Chagall, some some of the other some of the artists, yeah. Um, they, they really didn't paint faint faces accurately, yeah? and, it, and it's referring to that whole data set. So you've got to kind of skew it in the direction that you want if you want, you know, really photorealistic faces. So um, Harper's Bazaar magazine, you can actually recognize some of these people because <laughs> it's reading. Uh, obviously, you know, they, they look like people that appear on the front cover of Vogue because it's because it's looking at those images. Uh, L magazine and all these magazines. I'm not. I'm not a, a fashion magazine um, connoisseur by any means, but they all have slightly different styles to them. In style magazine, you know, some of them are higher class, some of them are slightly lower class. Uh, Business of fashion magazine. That's quite a cool one. Cosmopolitan. Uh, Cosmopolitan again. Allure magazine. Um, Nomiro magazine. Marie Claire, uh, Vanity Fair, kind of feels like it's, uh, I think it's a book. Is there a book called Vanity Fair? I might be referring to that as well. Uh, and then Grazia, yeah? So you can play, play around with those. Um, next, architecture. 
architecture. I didn't find I didn't find that many great ones. So a lot of them did work, but architectural design digest magazine. Sorry, that's a good one. Look at that. So if you want to, you know, introduce some interior design elements, dwell magazine seems to be more on the uh, architecture. Uh, wallpaper magazine. I don't think it's recognised that one. Architectural record magazine. Look at those buildings. Those are great, aren't they? Um, Abita. Not uh, not pick that one up, has it? Interior design magazine. Again, another great one for interior design. Uh, Metropolis. It's not recognised that one at all. It's tried to do a combination of <clears throat> an updating of the film Metropolis. Oh, there's a modern Metropolis film. I can't remember who's in that, but um, and the actual metropolis frame magazine not done that one not recognize that one icon magazine doesn't seem to recognize that the architectural review magazine definitely done something there detail magazine again, it's not really recognized that or oh, domus domus yeah not really so there's architecture and i did interior design as well because architecture and interior design are slightly different um but house beautiful magazine picked up that one uh, Nuevo Estio, Chic House. I really wanted it to pick up some of these foreign ones, but it didn't. Bridge for Design. <laughs> some lovely bridges. Um, Coveted Magazine. Azure Magazine. Adore Home Magazine. That's a good one. Yeah, so there's one or two there that it's actually picked up. Garden Magazines. Okay. Country Garden. Look at that. Country Gardens Magazine. English Garden Magazine. Uh, garden design magazine those are beautiful i love those uh, and obviously you can apply different painter styles or whatnot to these magazines and uh you know it'll <clears throat> it'll combine it with the painter style you've got uh sorry what's that one garden gate magazine fine gardening magazine horticulture magazine like that one look at that that's beautiful and then gardens illustrated magazine okay so some good some good garden options there photography magazines Okay, photography magazines are quite good for, um, I'll tell you, A, that you want a photograph of. Come here, what are you doing? Get off. There we go. Um, so, again, not 100% sure it's picked up some of these. Outdoor photographer magazine. Yeah, that's great. Uh, British Journal of Photography. Um, Better Photography magazine. Those. Capture magazine, not hundred percent sure it's done that one. Amateur photographer magazine, yeah, some good ones there. Exit magazine, that's interesting. I think it's kind of recognised that one maybe. Aperture magazine, yeah, possibly. Mono visions magazine, uh, not hundred percent sure it's picked that one up because Mono visions is black and white. Uh, and then black and white photography magazines definitely pick that one up look at those beautiful beautiful that's probably a really good one if you want to get some because obviously black and white you you know you get real crisp uh, pictures because you, you you know you've got to really focus on your composition when you're doing black and white so there we go um art magazines kind of hard to 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 tell whether it's doing these i don't think it's picked up juxtapause um which is sad um, Art in America magazine, ah, debatably not. Art News, Art Forum, Aesthetica, Art Review magazine. So I'm not, I'm not really sure it picked up those art magazines. Now, <clears throat> obviously, the, the cool thing you can do now hello, um, is you can do some combining. So let's have a look what I've combined. So, um, Guard Design magazine and Architectural Record magazine. Look at that house garden obviously it's pulled up all the letters and words so then you I just you just need to do that there you go house garden pretty awesome that isn't it no no i haven't told it to anything apart from a hyper realistic painting um adore home magazine and business of fashion i was trying to get it to do like a, a home it's kind of done it a bit home scene and a, sort of like a fashion issue uh, Country Gardens magazine and Natural History magazine, for some reason, does this uh, odd nature jar thing. Cool. Oh, here we go. Back to that. Uh, painting of a model in a living room, inspired by a door magazine and business of fashion magazine. So as you can see, it's done uh, painting of a model in a living room, which is cool. 
Certainly some uh, clever playing around with that one. Painting of a model in a cartoon living room. And here I was trying to play around. Cartoon living room, inspired by blah, blah, blah. Trying to play around to see what I could get. Uh, look at that. It's like a cartoon picture in a realistic room. <laughs> cartoon model. Kind of like, you, you get these bleed through effects in mid journey, but it's kind of trying to do it. So that's interesting, isn't it? Um, obviously you can play around, mix them up as you want. Scale that one up. That's a lovely picture, that. Scale that one up. Really nice. Um, and then I tried that one again. I just wanted to see if I if I got it. So there you go. Magazines, and obviously you can you can blend them together, mix them all up, put one or two together, um, throw different styles, different ideas in, different subjects, and all that. Um, but there you go. A lot of people who are doing really good stuff are using magazines, and uh, and now you know that you can do it. Off you go, play, share your results. Bye.